Hi folks, welcome back to part two of the £100 flip up challenge to a high end gaming PC. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in the UK and we've got money to burn, uh, £172 to be precise. Uh, I've managed to find a deal and I think it's a great little deal. So we're going to go and pick those up today. I'm uh, actually on my way to Portsmouth to pick up my son. Uh, it's a bit of a mission, so we're going to go and get these on the way. Luckily, they're only a small detour. I say small detour, but, you know, we shouldn't have to use any petrol. Um, so let's go and check these out, see what they are. Uh, if I think they're any good, I'll buy them. And uh, I'll get back in touch with you guys uh, in a bit. Okay, so I've got the PCs back and they've been tested and they all work. Uh, one of them was a mystery PC, but he said they were kind of the same specs. Uh, so our first little cooler master box here, we have an i5-4690. Uh, there's 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I'll put all the specs up on screen as well. Uh, there's a H97 DH3 motherboard. Now it was supposed to come with a Quadro K4000, but it actually has an amd radeon h6 8 something or other which isn't much use to any of us i was kind of hoping we had the little quadro in there as well just to make a really cheap little budget rig uh, they were supposedly sold with no drives as well uh, but they all actually had ssds with them uh, the first system had a 256 gigabyte ssd as well sata one and there's a 500 uh, what Cooler Master PSU. So the second system we have here, uh, we have an i5-4440, uh, same gigabyte motherboard, but we actually have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we have a 250 gigabyte SSD, and that's about that. We're going to have to mix, mix and match some of these specs, I think, as, yeah, 12 gigabytes, 32. And this one actually was a bonus system. I, he didn't have any idea of the specs. He said it was kind of the same as was before. But to take the panel off, we actually have a Z170HD3P. Now this actually has an i5-6600. Uh, 6 gen, uh, we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. There's a low profile GTX 750 Ti, uh, some sort of USB card. Uh, this one has a 600 watt power supply. And we do, considering they're not supposed to have drives, we have a 500 gigabyte SSD in this one. So each of these systems cost me 40 pounds. I think this one is our best bet. Uh, what I am going to do though, I think, is get a cheap case. I'm going to take one of the systems, use the i5-4690, 16 gigabytes of RAM, take the low profile 750Ti, the 500 gigabyte SSD, and just make one cheap banger system, sell that, so then we have the funds to make one of these a better system a better case gpu then flip that and see where we are so that's what i'm going to go with uh, i'll show you the case i brought we'll get that built get that tested get that up for sale and then see where we are hell cracks so case wise i've gone for the hell cracks <laughs> all jokes aside hcs255 uh, it's a full atx case it comes with six pre-installed RGB fans. They are changeable, so you can change the color. It's a full ATX case and it's cheap. It cost me 32 pounds delivered uh, and it should tick all the boxes we need just to get our first flip off the ground. Uh, it's a good little case. I've used it a few times. You can get it on Amazon. I will leave a link below in the description. Uh, so yeah, let me get this system built. Uh, we'll get it set up, tested, run a couple of benchmarks on it quick and uh, yeah, then get it listed and get it up for sale.
So I've got the system built and it looks pretty sharp for a sub £100 system. It's a really nice little budget case to build in and the tower cooler has definitely helped us out with the overall look. I've also moved the rear RGB fan to the front of the cooler, which is a nice little free touch for anyone out there looking to do the same. I've also applied a small square of vinyl wrap to cover the PSU just to tidy that area of the build. The little GTX 750Ti low profile does look a bit odd, but it is what it is and it's what we have to work with, so it will do the job for the budget we have. Originally I went with the i5 4690 as I mentioned before, as I thought we might just get away with it, but testing Fortnite and even in performance mode, uh, the percentiles were really bad. Uh, four cores, four threads are dead my friends. Uh, so I jumped on eBay and I brought one of these for a steal and that is a Xeon E3 1231V3. It's a 4 core 8 thread chip with a 3.4 GHz base clock and it's basically an i7-4770. Uh, the best thing about this chip is it cost me £13.50, uh, a worthy expense as the usability of the system has increased dramatically and the new owner will be now like ready for a better GPU when needed. Uh, you compare like a 1660 Super, RTX 2060, RX 6600 completely fine uh, with a 4th gen Haswell i7 or Xeon. Uh, I also sell these Xeons as an i7 in the listing and I've never had a complaint. Uh, jumping back into Fortnite now quickly, 1080p performance mode low with far view distance and 75% resolution scale. We're now getting a basic high refresh rate experience at 144 plus FPS. Uh, the 1% and 0.1% lows are great as well. Uh, considering we were getting like teens and then single digits for the 0.1% before, £13.50 well spent. Uh, I've also added a PCIe Wi-Fi card which cost me £5.88p from AliExpress and will also boost our selling power. Uh, I'm going to list the PC as something like this, uh, Intel i7, 144 FPS, budget Fortnite PC. 500GB SSD, 16GB RAM, Wi-Fi and Windows 11. Uh, I'm going to try for £200 for the listing, a little steep but we can always drop it. Uh, but that said, it's a good starting point for anyone wanting a cheap little PC to get into gaming. It's clean, well built, looks good and performs well in the lighter titles. Uh, budget wise, we're totally cleared out now. Uh, we started with £172, minus £120 for the free systems, £32 for the case, £13.50 for the Xeon, £5.88p for the Wi-Fi card and that leaves us with 60 pence in the bank. Now I've taken the vinyl wrap for the team so don't hate me but I do keep a massive roll of the stuff on hand for projects like this. Uh, if we can get 200 for this plus the other two systems we've got in reserve, uh, we should be able to take things to the next level, but let's see how we do. Uh, there was a delay in making this video. Uh, the market has been really slow in the UK at the moment, but things seem to be picking up. Uh, it's currently the school summer holidays as well here, so people are after cheap PCs to entertain themselves. Anyway, fingers crossed on the sale. So that's part two. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts down below about this build. Would you have done anything differently? I think we'll do okay out of this and I'm happy with the deals I managed to find. Uh, but nothing is certain in this world and it's still a gamble. But sometimes, you know, you have to roll a dice. Uh, please consider subscribing if you've got this far. Thank you to all of you that have done so already. And for the support as always. God bless you. Lots of love. Take care. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers.